hello guys good morning welcome back to the channel um today it was quite an interesting day uh, i'll try to be as fast and uh, uh maybe a little bit detailed as possible give you as much information in in as little time as i can so uh my mining has continued for the past 24 hours i didn't have any of my workers go offline so you can see my daily uh income now is showing to be at 12 dollars 30 cents uh weekly is 86 dollars and monthly 374 dollars and today is tuesday may 4th 2021 so uh one of the things i will show you is the price of ethereum it's now three thousand four hundred and seventy seven dollars up 10.99 percent as you can see uh, the prices of other coins uh, bitcoin is at fifty six thousand two hundred and thirty nine dollars down three point nine one percent ethereum three thousand four hundred and seventy seven dollars up ten point nine nine percent xrp continues with its uh, decline it's down minus eight point zero six percent dogecoin is the breakout news uh and star for the past for this week i think by the end of this month dogecoin will be up to a dollar uh for the past 24 hours you can see it's been up 35 percent that is just phenomenal um remember yesterday i told you guys uh if you want a short-term uh, returns it's dogecoin so i have quite a few uh, a bit of my holdings in dogecoin stellar lumens it's at uh down minus 5.58 percent so that's a quick recap of the coins and uh digital tokens and where they sit today all right back to uh standard stocks that we've been tracking hall of fame resort and entertainment company uh, Pre-market, they're up 0.82%. Oh, they just jumped to 1.09%. But then again, I still remain bearish about Hall of Fame Resort and Entertainment with the ticker symbol HOFV. For the short term, I think they will still be going down and then uh, they will stabilize. It will take a, maybe a week, two weeks, and then they will shoot up you know, to stratospheric levels uh, but again i still remain on my what i said don't take this as investment advice uh, but i don't think on the short term hofv is a good value next we go to uh ebon ebon that's the ticker symbol uh, for ebang international holdings and uh, pre-market they're up 1.57 but uh, again remember this uh, stock has had quite a hit in the past couple of days it is on a very definite downward trend i remain bearish about this stock um, if you think it's a good value for you good luck but for me i am bearish about the stock in the short term all right uh next one is gonna be dolphin entertainment with the ticker symbol DLPN. As you can see, pre-market, it's down 2.33%. Uh, uh, this is another stock which is I'm very bearish about it. You can see over the past five days how much it has dropped. Um, on uh, Thursday, last week, April 29th, 2021, it was trading at $13.86 and uh, just a couple of trading day sessions later it's down to ten dollars 31 cents so i think it's i'm still very uh, bearish about this stock i think it still has quite a bit to decline before it uh, levels out consolidates and then starts with any upward movement but long term i think it's still a good value bitcoin let's take a quick look here at bitcoin bitcoin is now at fifty six thousand one hundred and ninety eight dollars and you can see uh it's had quite a bit of a decline or kind of just stagnating not really moving 
Uh, I think part of that is due to the rise of Dogecoin. So people who are invested in Bitcoin and have uh, large portfolios, I think it is just me thinking this out. <laughs> I think some of those people sold their Bitcoin and transferred their money to Doge for some quick short-term earnings. Uh, but then again, Bitcoin long-term for the institutional uh, investors and big uh, um, individual investors where, you know, the smart money loves Bitcoin. So I think it still has its place in the market as a uh, placeholder in lieu of uh, fiat money. So next, uh, let's move on to Safe Moon. So as you can see, Safe Moon uh, is still continues with its growth. You can see right now they have uh, 481,500 followers, which is quite impressive. Uh, but that again still doesn't translate to value because when you look at the value of Safe Moon, <laughs> it's still quite disappointing. It's down 4.77%, uh, like, uh, like we said, you know, so I don't think. For the moment, Safe Moon is a good investment compared to other players in the cryptocurrency space. So it's been very disappointing, and uh, somehow they still get quite a few people investing in Safe Moon. Hopefully, when it takes off, it takes off with a blast. That way, people who are holding uh, get some kind of compensation because they are the ones who keep their uh, their token, you know, alive. If everybody sold out and moved on to maybe uh, Dogecoin, then Safe Moon would just be dead, you know, in the water. Okay, Ethereum. We talked about Ethereum already, and we took a quick look at other uh, tokens in that same space. Uh, move on to Dogecoin. Again, like I said, Dogecoin has had this spectacular rise over the past twenty-four hours. You can see it's up 35.97%, trading now at half a dollar, 53 <laughs> cents. A few um, hours ago, a few minutes ago, I think it actually hit 55 cents. Let's take a quick look here at the graph. Um, I believe right there, it shows 54.39, but I think it actually hit 55 cents. So that's quite impressive. Congratulations to those who are holding Dodge or are invested in Dodge. Uh, if you're considering a short-term investment, Dodge might be for you. But again, this is not uh, financial advice. It's just for entertainment. Uh, take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, full disclosure, I have a small position, a small inconsequential position in Dodge. Okay, let's continue. So uh, the next one we're gonna talk about is a stock. It's uh, OQGen with the ticker symbol OCGN. And as you can see, uh, it's down pre-market 10%. Uh, OQGen, as you remember yesterday, had a spectacular rise, which you can see right there. And uh, it's giving back some of those uh, gains today. But I think yesterday it went up some, somewhere in the neighborhood of about maybe uh, above 20%. But uh, losing 10% pre-market, that's not, uh, it doesn't bode well for this uh, session. So pay close attention if you're invested in OQGen. All right, uh, next we go to coinmarketcap.com to take a quick look at uh, the different currencies. Um, different cryptocurrencies. So if we go by market capitalization, number one, you have Bitcoin. And number two, you have Ethereum. Number three, you have Binance, which is now trading at $647. It is down $1.5% uh, over the past uh, 24 hours. Uh, then Dogecoin is now in the fourth position by market capitalization. That is quite impressive. Uh, so Dogecoin is, of course, trading at 53 cents. Fifth position now is XRP. 
and XRP is at uh, $1.46, $1 $1.46, and it is down 8.80% over the past 24 hours. Uh, sixth position is Theta, and Theta is trading, of course, at $1. Uh, it has, it's a parity um, coin. And seventh position, you have Cardano, which is down 2.14% over the past 24 hours. And eighth position, you have Polka Dot, which is down 3.35% over the past 24 hours. I can only imagine that most of the people invested in these uh, other cryptocurrencies are cashing out their money and jumping into Doge, which is uh, has a multiplier effect. It makes Doge go up even faster than it would have, you know, organically. So we take another look at uh, MVIS, which is another stock which is very popular. Uh, MVIS is uh, the ticker symbol for Microvision and um, Microvision develops a laser scanning technology for projection, 3G sensing and image capture. So one of the reasons why Microvision was so popular and is still so popular is because with uh, the placement of technology in vehicles, self-driving vehicles, uh, self-driving delivery carts, uh, the need for 3D scanning and image capture and sensing has become very important in uh, our daily lives. So that's why Microvision, you know, exploded. You can see over the past, uh, let's say one year, you can see how the value went up exponentially. Then it dropped and uh, now it's just trying to recover. But uh pre-market they're down 4.04 percent so that's one uh stock to keep a close eye on if you have uh, you are invested in the stock five day uh, graph you can see it's on a slow but sure downward decline so pay close attention uh it might actually reverse because you see down here from uh oh that's from friday but it kind of slowed down so it could actually reverse or it could trade sideways today um, and the last talk we're going to talk about today is FAMI FAMI uh, FAMI of course is uh, a a Chinese company that produces uh, mushroom and other agricultural products and uh, pre-market they're down 9.24 percent but as you remember, yesterday they had a spectacular uh, rise. I think they're still on an optic. Uh, it might slow down somewhat today, uh, but pre-market they're down 8.59%. So if you are invested in FAMI, I would say uh, pay close attention uh, throughout today's session. All right, guys, um, that's all what I have for you. and. Um, just something for you, uh, you guys to think about. Let's say you're invested in Ethereum or you are a, an Ethereum miner. What do you think would happen at uh, the EIP-1559 uh, uh, when it happens? What do you think? What do you think? How do you think that will affect the value of Ethereum? For me, I really don't have uh, an opinion on that because... It looks like the miners are for EIP-1559, uh, but the developers, no, the, the miners are against, but the developers are for EIP-1559. So I don't really know the implications for uh, real world, but the developers seem to think it's something that will add value to the coin. Um, that remains to be seen if it's going to be implemented. Uh, but we we'll just keep our fingers crossed and for the time being, uh, as we all wait on July, just keep on mining and uh, good luck to you all. Bye for now and see you guys on the next video.